So maybe start there. Sure. So um, on the one hand, you know, maybe I was fated to become a scientist. Uh -huh. um, I guess the, the two things that are relevant there are, I always loved animals and I've always been obsessed with animal behavior. Like just could watch Cousteau shows growing up, you know, underwater life or animals hunting, animals doing anything. It's just so fascinating to me because I'm, I think even at a really young age, I've always just been intrigued in sort of what drives different animals to behave mm -hmm. in the way they do and how body form matches to, I didn't know what it was, but brains and how that all works. So I've always been obsessed with animals. Um, and then my dad's a scientist. So he's a physicist. Uh, he was really early in chaos theory. And so growing up wow. um, in our home, you know, we had scientists over for dinner and graduate students would come over for barbecues and things like that. So. I, you know, I was kind of immersed in science from a young age, but right about age 13, uh, my parents split up and he moved overseas. He moved to Denmark and my mom was really struggling with the breakup and mm. I wasn't in contact with him anymore. So I had this really unusual childhood where, you know, we didn't talk about sports. We talked about sci 